Aries. Yeah. And you at the bottom too. Here's the Emperor card. Aries, you starting early, okay? You starting early, okay? Thank you. Welcome back to my channel if you're new or if you're returning, welcome. Um, please be sure to note that this video is for Pluto and Aquarius transiting the 11th house or if you have an Aries rising or if you're just here to view how this Pluto uh, transiting in the 11th house in Aquarius is going to affect your Aries energy in your natal chart. Um, thank you again for dropping by. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for a personal astrological guide, um, you can find my website information to book a reading in the description box below hello thank you thank you thank you and um yeah let's get into this pluto aquarius and the 11th house first of all aquarius is associated heavily with the 11th house already okay this is a house that has to do with assets to that come from the work that you do in the world okay and pluto being here is kind of bringing up all of the fears that you have about connecting with people that you don't know okay and i saw the barons when i was shuffling so i feel like there is a team of people that are going to gravitate to you during this time period like your team building right now and mostly from you taking action that you know is necessary at this time so you're going through a team building experiment for the next 20 years um you're going to just run into people or reconnect with people from even from the past that really zone into the future you know you're meant to manifest you're going to find someone for each and every part that plays a part and it's not that you're controlling them and getting them to do it it's because that's just who they are and that's what they naturally do that it allows you to go ahead and rely on them for um their assistance because they're so skilled at what they do because it's their thing their authentic thing and they're able to do the same you know exchange the same energy with you because you're authentic to whatever you're doing and you're doing it authentically as well so any fears that come up during this transit is just here to teach you that you can connect with people from hundreds of miles away you can connect with people from different countries you can connect with different sounds out throughout the world and the diaspora that you are connected to and um build your i want to say build your legacy build your business build your company build whatever network that you want from the comfort of being your true self going after things that really make you feel passion and desire and excitement with okay and when you meet these people or you come in contact with these people and you have a genuine conversation about where you see the world going when you see that you guys clicked in the vision that you have those are usually the people you're going to be working with for the next 20 years and it doesn't matter what you guys team up and do together what matters is that as long as you stay true to your vision your ideals no matter how much they may change um you're going to find people who support and back you up 110 percent anyway okay so you're meant to go through transformation and changes during this time okay so um with that being said new networks and flow understand your assets and how to use them okay so you can very well come into a lot of assets at this time um you could um experience the loss of friendships to death um, they may start to impact you a little bit more because, you know, as time moves forward, you know, you get older and you start to build relationships with people. And it may be people that you haven't heard from or seen from in for a long time that may have passed away in the next 20 years that um, it can make you feel kind of like guilty or make you feel like you wish you would have did things differently. Don't do that to yourself. OK, don't judge yourself for choosing to go down a path that was meant and destined for you to walk and your mission in this world was to do that it is to leave behind the past and move on to your future and if it doesn't mean that you correlate with someone else anymore that that's not a bad thing okay it happens to all of us everybody you're not intense okay 
yes, you can be very selfish and self-centered when it comes to um, how you handle things going, you know, head first diving in. But that just shows, you know, your ability to use your instincts, your ability to not fuck around and squander your energy where it doesn't need to go because you've learned in the past that that's something you may have done. So you're choosing to tighten that shit up. Okay, however, here comes the opportunity where you get tested and your ability to continue to do that while people come in and out of your life to connect with you and you share resources through the business that you run or the company that you work for and then they kind of like move out the way and then someone else comes in. Your ability to be flexible and stick to your your path while that happens is going to be tested. A lot of fears um, regarding um, connecting with people, um, especially over the internet, AI, things of that nature is going to be tested. So um, we have Four Petro, Agwe, La Flambeau, the Four of Wands. So this may have to do with your home friends or marriage. Okay. You got Rada, La Place. Okay definitely a crossroads here and um lastly we have the chariot card okay and taurus have the same card in the same space and we have the world egg at the bottom so definitely new beginnings that is your energy aries okay all right so you may be at a crossroads well how are you going to choose to move forth when it comes to yeah following your passions Uniting your divine masculine and your divine feminine energies together and set sailing and crossing, you know, borders. So this could definitely be you traveling overseas. Someone calling you from Tokyo, someone calling you from Australia, someone calling you um, in Africa. Like you can definitely be like needed across the world. And you want to be grounded and feel supported throughout this. Your ancestors are always going to support you no matter what. Okay? They're always going to support you no matter what. Anytime you ask the divine source a question about what direction you go in, you're going to receive an answer in what direction you should go in. So, yes, you are the boat. Yes, the boat is sailing um, in different territory and different waters, but you're being guided to go in this direction specifically for a reason. Now, what medium you're using to be able to sail around the world <laughs> and connect with so many different people, totally up to you and how you choose to do that, but it's going to happen, okay? You're meant to create a whole new world for your family, okay? I don't think anybody has ever crossed the seeds like this before okay four of wands what is there yes i do i really do want to look at this card real quick because every time i look at it it looked like it's a woman with a mask on her face and earrings on and i know it's not but that's what it looks like to me. Like she got a um, hat on her head. And that's what it kind of looks like to me. But I know that's not what it is. I saw that too. Fire and water join give rise to the vigorous dance of air. Union op of opposites, which may express itself as a marriage. The quiet before the storm. The unexpected as in fire and water giving rise to air, shifting emotions, unexpected shifts, safe haven, constructed with much labor. Yes, yes, that's kind of what I'm seeing. It's like you're being uprooted to head in a direction that you may have to go alone, but you won't be alone. You won't be alone. You'll have support, okay? It's like as long as you are loyal and you stick to the plan, you'll have support. Okay, you it, it will require you to be more communicative. All right, you don't want to create or cause fear by being too aloof from your your home front. 
you want to continue to communicate. Um, yeah. Okay, you Okay, you got the Prince of Swords, which is like the King of Swords in this deck. That's Aquarius energy, okay? Your higher self is the one that's guiding you through this union that is taking place at this time. So you may be joining assets with someone, which is definitely marriage. But it's like how you do business and how they do business. You're starting to find a way to balance the two. Um, the place. Yes, Eight of Cups here is going to require both of you and anyone else you connected to to let go of beliefs that you used to have because they they're not going to help you get out of your comfort zone they're not going to work for you anymore okay the standard yes marriage the standard way that people used to do marriage and how our ancestors did marriage um, it may go back to more of an ancient, ancient tradition, which technically from our, you know, standpoint in society is more futuristic. So you may have a different type of marriage that, you know, your family may not understand or get, but you already made your decision of how you're going to move forward with your union and how you want to do things because it allows you to explore the truth and who you are. And you don't have to live your life under the restrictions of what someone else thinks um, based on their belief system because y'all can have two different belief systems. You're, you're not evenly yoked, regardless if they're your parents or not. You're you're unevenly yoked with your parents' beliefs, so you don't follow them. You, you follow your own belief pattern, your own systems. And that is also, that belief is being poured into, you know... That Aquarius energy, that Pisces energy is being poured into the Aquarius experience where, yes, you're walking away from what doesn't serve you because your ideal is that you are united with this person. So if your parents disagree or they leave you out in the, in the dust because you choose to be with someone that they feel like isn't serving you based on their beliefs, dance and get married anyway. Shit. You gonna eventually have to come you know, to a point in your life where, you know, ooh, you're going to give birth to a star, okay? You're going to give birth to the star of your show. You're the star of your show, right? You're going to follow your true north, okay? Pluto and Aquarius leave the opportunity to face your fears and follow your true north, okay? And I feel like you've been holding back from doing this based on the beliefs of somebody else. And you may not want to admit this, but you have. Here, fine. Yes, probably your mother. Okay, probably your mother. But, you know, this is a time to get married. And it doesn't have to be a physical man and wife marriage. This could be a marriage or a union that's taking place where you're just like okay i'm gonna stop doing this and i'm gonna start doing this because i've been working on this anyway this is what i really want to do so now i'm gonna you know commit myself to actually doing it and then all these people that feel the vibration that's meant to meet you on this timeline are just gonna start flocking to you okay and it can be overwhelming because you're trying to trust you know who you're meeting but remember you don't meet anyone but you you meet no one but you Okay, you mean no one? It was always meant to be. What you're going through was always meant to be. Okay, if the Lord can see you to it, it will see you through it. Okay, it'll work out, it'll work fine. Okay, um, this doesn't have to be a physical, you know, traditional marriage. If you are looking to get married, you can have your marriage set up any way that you want, and it does not mean you have to stick to the patriarchal system you don't have to stick to institutions that was here before you you can create your own institution and how you want marriage to be according to what your ancestor deemed as you know sacred and protected through them and you know what they're able to offer you um all you gotta do is ask all you can all you can do is set the energy and the intention for your ancestors to show you which direction you're meant to walk in especially if it's regarding a one-on-one -on -one partnership that you want to be a spiritual long-lasting loving marriage but not for just you but for everyone who's connected to it okay so you can um pray about that pray on that 
um, those types of things will start to come up over and over again and you'll start to face the fear more and more and more to the point where, you know, you're not really afraid anymore about joining with people then it's like okay i joined with people okay but now am i going to let the whole thing play out am i going to stick to my word and show up okay am i going to allow the other person to stick to their word and show up and not jump to conclusions okay and then that's like okay we, we stick into this okay so now okay everything is working fine yeah relax relax there is no perfect relationship but love is unconditional no matter where and who you are okay and um that's the message i have for you aries energy or plural transiting the 11th house of networks and friendships and assets so thanks so much for tuning in until next time peace